Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and we are back working on the Sweetheart Roadster. Got a little momentum going, so I'm gonna keep uh, making small victories on this car to keep the progress going. So, uh, we got the steering uh, column all set in place, steering boxes in there. I need to make a little uh, tiny piece to uh, fill in the gap at the steering drop that we got, uh, but that's stuff we can do off camera. I thought a fun little project we'd do today is making the glove boxes, the much disputed in the comments glove boxes. Uh, a lot of people did, did not like the, uh, the driver's side glove box, but I'm sticking with it. A lot of the higher end cars of this era actually had that, and I think it's pretty neat and it is a nice little uh, styling cue. So um, I need to make these doors, and uh, rather than just cut them out of a thick piece of metal, uh, the original ones that I've seen, they're actually like wrapped around. Um, there's actually metal that's like hemmed around an inner frame. So one thing we need to do is actually hammer form these uh, glove box doors. So I thought it'd be a fun little project today to make a simple hammer form out of some thick wood um, and take some sheet metal, hammer it around, and then we can make our inner frame and actually make both of these doors and uh, cut a big giant hole in my glove or in my uh, dash and uh, see how it's gonna look. So let's get started. Luke had a fantastic idea that's holding the camera right now about using wax paper. I don't know why I never knew that, but it is a fantastic idea. I missed that lesson in tech school. Look at that, holy crap. You can see it all. Mainly I'm worried about the corners here.
so.
same thing, just right wherever we're starting at, or if you want to remember you're starting right there, however you want to do it. We want to start in the center of a flat section. So now you want to you want this end to be somewhere in the middle. So that way when we end, we're ending in the center and not on the end. So we we'll right. start just so we don't get lost. Yep. So here I'll give you the marker. So mark mark where the bend starts roughly. And then wrap it around. Put the center of the bend. Right. Yeah. And then the end is going to be somewhere out in there. Yeah. That just gives you a point of reference. So you can just set that there. I'll swap it so you can use the tool. So you're going to put the. Let's just double check. So we have the flange, yep, like that. Actually, let's make this, this one's all right. That's right. Okay. So you want to you want to stretch this edge. So you just put that. So you can start in the center of the split of the jaws in there. Center your line. Hold on, let me push up. Just use your foot, not your knee. And just keep your fingers there when Do you I hit. keep it right in the center of this? Um, on this, I usually keep it, yeah, like not, yeah, keep it in the center. Yep. Just like that. And just push a little bit on the pedal and you'll feel with your fingers it starts to, starts to move. Like that? Yep. Just a little, yeah, you can go a little more than that, but you'll feel it start moving. Yep, there you go. And then what I'll do is I'll jump, like you did the center, I'll jump over here and center the draws in there. And we'll jump over here, center the draws in there. And then just you know, do your test fit. Yep. There. Maybe, yep. Maybe one, another one. Yep. How's that looking? Yeah, there you go. So again, yeah, same thing. You may want to go like right, well, probably right center your jaws right about there. Let's see if you can stretch it. It'll pull that end around. Pretty close. Like I said, it's gonna rip. You just don't know when or where, but it'll probably. There you go. Now you're getting close. You gotta check almost every time so you don't get. It's easier to creep up on it. So if you pull it like this. Out there, so I would probably do another hit right here. Yep. That's right where it's gonna rip too. So yeah. just do a little less of a hit this time. There you go. There we go. No close. Now it's fitting good right in here. So we want to come probably right over here and, and do one.
right now we're just trying to get everything to wherever it fits pretty tight we're gonna, we're gonna get some tacks on it here's a little crappy so i'm gonna hammer on that i'm probably gonna move it right there Sparks, it's real quiet, you can be real, real detailed. Just kind of glue it together, so to speak. Kind of wicking it down into a down to like 30. Yeah, you're fine. 35. Let's 
good when everything fits it. Well. Mm-hmm. You just put a hand on the dash. So it doesn't fall out. There we go. This side is good now. There we go. Oh no, this is the new one here. Here we go. Hmm. It's probably not quite. Okay. All right, so we got big progress on the dash, but I am gonna cut the video a little short as far as the project goes, uh, because I, as I mentioned a lot in videos, I wanna kind of stare at some things before I go any further. So we got the actual glove box compartment itself made up from scratch. I got the flanges made, uh, welded into the dash, so everything's in there and hanging and sturdy. Uh, and of course, we got the doors made in the early part of the video. I have not hemmed the edges over on those doors because I don't know exactly what we're doing with the inner structure. I may just wire edge it. I may make an inner structure that goes in there, um, but I haven't decided yet. Also, with the hinges, I need to play around with hinges. We might use some kind of just simple piano hinges or cabinet hinges or uh, we may try and uh, modify or use a set of 32 three window style hinges or even 34. But I need to gather those parts, test them, see how I like everything uh, and how it looks, and then we can continue on. So we'll do a second video working on the dash where hopefully we'll get the glove boxes finished, maybe punch the holes for the gauges, and uh, yeah, make this thing as far as the inside go, uh, start looking how it's going to look. But really psyched on it, it looks super cool. We just have magnets holding the doors on for now, but um, it's pretty cool seeing the little glove boxes in there. I think it's gonna work out really nice. I'm gonna end up taking some silicon bronze rod like I did on these flanges and welding around the, the dash and the, and the uh, glove box compartment itself, blending it all together so when you open the glove box, it's just gonna look nice in one piece like it was almost stamped or made that way originally. Uh, I think it'll be a nice little finish and uh, we have enough room that we can put uh, some odds and ends in there and it should be pretty good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That was a lot of work for what seems like not uh, uh, a lot done, but it was a lot of work, but it's really cool to make literally everything from scratch in this. Um, it's pretty satisfying to see this all come together. So let me know what you guys think of how the glove boxes are coming together on it. And yes, the driver's side glove box will clear the steering wheel. We got a thousand comments about it. It will clear and you can actually use it. So yes, you can. But let me know what you guys think of the dashboard, how it's coming together. Thanks guys. Catch you later.